What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan if you're new here. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to be filming a, another week in my life. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these because I think it's really fun to show you the variety of my week. This morning I just did yoga and I've been editing pretty much the majority of the day. Oh, look at what time it is. And it was 111 on the camera, so that's kind of crazy. But I've just been editing and I wanted to say hi and start the vlog here. I have a helper today. It's many hours later and I'm gonna make peanut butter cookies before dinner. It's like 5.15 and look who's here. Andy, you want to say hi to them? That's a sweet good boy. I just got this peanut butter recipe off of Pinterest. I'll link it in the description. But I hope it turns out really good. Because I want a sweet treat after dinner tonight. So here we go. one kind of broke but they look pretty they look really good yeah let's split it okay cheers cheers mm. <laughs> wow Ooh. 
Wow. I think you're a great baker. Thank you, honey. Oh my god, you look cute. In my boots! Do I? Yeah, you really fucking do. Winter Wonderland out there. Yeah, it is. It actually feels really like magical. Chris, yeah. Magical out there. You look cute. Oh, thank you. I love the fit. <laughs> Tell them. What? We'll go into the biggest Trade it or tra <laughs> <laughs> I know, I kind of want to get another Celsius. We don't wanna. We're going to go to Trader Joe's. It's Second. a winter in Wonderland <laughs> again. <laughs> 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 what are you doing over there? I'm the f***ing director. Hi, we're back from Trader Joe's. I want to show you guys the flowers. I don't know if I said it or not, but today is one of my best friend's birthdays, so I wanted to make a flower arrangement, and I'm really excited. This should be fun. You guys know I've been loving making floor arrangements, which is, I think, is a really sweet <coughs> gift to give. Wow, these are really pretty. <laughs> okay, here she is. I think it turned out really pretty. I'm excited. I think that she'll love it. Yay. All right. We are off. We're on the road. We got all the cargo. Yeah, we do. Oh. Are you the last airbender? Always. You look like oh. Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I didn't end up finishing the vlog last night, but we were hanging out with one of my best friends, Mariah, for her birthday, and her family, and the new baby, and her husband, and everything. It was so nice, and Brie got to meet everybody, which is really special, but we didn't end up vlogging, and we got home really late last night, so today's a new day. The sun is shining, nice and bright for us. I did a yoga flow and be on the lookout for that. I did a Brighten Your Day Yoga Flow for embracing the spring that's upon us. And I just wanted to stop in and say hi since I didn't finish the vlog off last night. And I'm excited to be here. Hope you guys are all having a nice week so far. I feel like, can't believe it's already Wednesday. 
but I've also really been loving my new office space. If you guys saw the last vlog, I redid my office with Brie over the weekend, last weekend, and I've been loving my desk, and it's just been so nice working in here. So I feel really thankful and happy. And a little plant, when it, we both wanna get little pothos, so like not have fake plants, but for now, it's nice and I'm just feeling grateful. Costco. <laughs> It's the time. Okay, so I'm going to give a little book review of this book that I just read. Journey of Souls by Dr. Michael Newton. It's about um, quantum healing hypnotherapy and he takes his patients into like a really deep hypnotic state like into the he calls it the super conscious so it's like we're at our consciousness here and then our subconscious obviously is even lower and then the super conscious is like the soul so anyways i'm also making simple syrup and then i'm gonna make some cold brew concentrate after that so i'm just gonna kind of talk while i'm doing it but <clears throat> anyways so yeah it was a really good book if you're interested in anything like my first introduction to all of that was um, on TikTok. I follow this one TikToker and she talks about this um, quantum healing hypnotherapist. Her name's Dolores Cannon. She's no longer uh, here, but her work was like done primarily like in the 80s, 80s, 90s, uh, 2000s. And it's kind of like in, in the realm of like new age uh, metaphysics kind of thing um but yeah she has a bunch of different books and different things that she touches on that like really interested me and um like one of the books is like conversations with nostradamus like one of her clients that she had in a deep hypnosis um was like somebody who their soul in a past life was um around when nostradamus was alive and was a student of nostradamus so um, just kind of like if you know anything about that, you know, you already know what I'm kind of talking about. If not, you know, look into it if you're interested in, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Nostradamus is basically like, <clears throat> he talks about a lot of like, I don't want to say doomsday stuff, but like things that happen now and in the future and, and things like that. Like he could see into the future and... You know, I don't know. Anyways, if it interests, interests you, cool. If not, that's cool too. But this book was cool because it's just a general conversation about like what soul lives are like. Like basically what happens after you die and then what happens when your soul is like reincarnated. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it, it, it's really good. But he... It's all different types of topics. I'll kind of just like look at the table of contents. Um, let's see here. Yeah, okay, so all the different chapters, it's death and departure, gateway to the spirit world, homecoming, the displaced soul. That one talks about like uh, that chapter was about like souls that would be like quote unquote damaged souls, souls that you know kind of like commit um, crimes and things like that on on Earth, and like what happens to them afterwards. And basically, the whole synopsis of this is like there's no like heaven or hell. It's like you know if you have committed crimes on Earth, it's part of a learning lesson. Basically, everything that we come to earth to you know experience is a learning lesson it's part of our karmic um lessons that we have and we dictate prior to coming and onto earth like what um what lessons we're going to learn and what things that we want to do in order to like advance our souls and um 
you know, I, I think that that's like a, a nice concept. Um, you know, definitely different than some other different topics of afterlife, but you know, kind of cool to dig into different realms of it and just kind of get different perspectives. Um, anyways, after that, it's orientation, transition, placement. Um, orientation and transition, I can't really remember right now, but placement is like, like how are we placed into the different soul families we have, like coming onto earth, those different souls that we reincarnate with, like why are we placed with them kind of thing. Um, it touches on our guides, so like your garden angel if you wanna say, or um, your teacher, the soul that kind of helps guide you through all of your lives that you live. And then it touches on the beginner soul, intermediate soul, the advanced soul, life selection, choosing a new body, preparation for embarkation and rebirth. So yeah, it it was really cool. Um, but I found it really interesting because it's kind of a, a subject that I've always kind of like been relatively interested in, but um, to dig deeper into it kind of like, you know, brought peace and it talks about um, you know like the people that die prematurely and what their um, like path is for that and their types of influences on the people that they're surrounded by in human life like what uh, lessons they bring to people um, it talks about like you know if you struggle with addiction you know all different kinds of things so um, yeah, if that's something that interests you, I would definitely recommend reading it. Um, you know, he he was like an atheist before he, uh, the author, uh, before he like dug onto or got into this whole topic. Like he was a hypnotherapist prior to help people like understand their life purpose and um, kind of like dig deeper into the soul and help them work through like emotional traumas that they experienced. And then uh, at one point, he was having a conversation with a client under hypnosis and the specific client just like was so deep in hypnosis, it kind of just opened the gateway into talking to the super conscious and talking to the soul essentially. So, um, but yeah, he, he doesn't, you know, he believes in the higher power, which is something that I personally believe in. You know, I don't think that you know, I think all different religions and spiritualities and different walks of life all have, you know, um, a certain, like, terminology dictated to the supreme power, if you will. But, you know, it's like ultimately um, we're all part of that uh, higher power. And so um, I thought that that was really nice. And, yeah, it, it talks about, like, um, you know, energies and our auras, things like that. So it is definitely, you know, not conventional. So if it's not something that you're like necessarily interested in, not maybe, you know, a good read. But if you're interested in like digging into topics that are a little bit broad um, in terms of like, you know, um, just different kinds of uh, philosophies and things like that. It's like a pseudoscience too, which I find very interesting because it's not your typical, you know, things that everybody like knows or talks about. Like, I think it's good to broaden the mind and get into topics that are, um, you know, just not your everyday. But yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, I personally wasn't seeking this book out I was seeking out a Dolores Cannon book when I went to the library and then I saw this because the person that um, kind of got me into Dolores Cannon, the TikToker I watched, um, had talked about this book really briefly and I remembered it by the way it looks and I was like, oh, perfect. I really want to read this. So yeah, pretty good read. Um, I think 10 out of 10, it really, I haven't finished a book in a while and I was excited to read it every single night and I want to also read more of what he wrote and then obviously what Dolores Cannon wrote. So 10 out of 10, recommend, yeah. It's 
Pepper night. <laughs> we got mushrooms, bunch Kale. of veg. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Look at this. <laughs> Don't burn yourself again. Yeah, I already did that once today. And green onion pancakes and some dumplings. <laughs> it's cookie time. It's cookie time. Beep! I know I do it just because I want to hear the beep. Guys, these peanut butter cookies I made earlier this week. Fire. You gotta try the recipe. If you do put it the put it cookies. put it in the comments and let us know your review. All right, we're watching Love Island. Peace. Peace out, Girl Scout. Today's our anniversary, so we're gonna go get some dinner. And I wanna show you my outfit. I'm wearing my Levi 501 jeans. I always wear these. And this is a vintage Ralph Lauren um, white sweater. I showed it in a thrift haul. And then this is an olive green um, blazer I thrifted a while ago. And these earrings are from Sarah, if you're watching. Shout out to you. Yeah, just cash, and I'm gonna wear my Reebok sneakers. Trying a new place tonight. What kind of food? Oh, it's a pizza. We're having pizza tonight. And they have like cheese boards and stuff. Oh yeah, cheese boards. It's like Napolitan okay, sure. style pizza. Oh yeah. yeah. And they they serve um, mocktails, so that'll be fun. Ooh, ooh, baby. I know. I'm excited about it. We like get a mocktail and then you're like add bug. <laughs> Actually put a little put one. Put a splash. There. Yeah. <laughs> vodka. Vodka. I love you. I love you too. We're cute. Family pig, minus two G. He's so cute. Teeny. I did a little vibe. He's purring so mm. loud, if you could only tell. We got mocktails and pizza, as you guys saw, and it was really good. So good. I had like a mocktail with like gin and something. But it wasn't like gin, obviously, but yeah, I don't flavored know sort of like that. And then I had like a non-alcoholic New Man or Manhattan, but I didn't really, really like that one. That's and okay. Yeah, that's okay. Never had one before, so I wanted to try. Yeah, and they also had a non-alcoholic rosé. That one was good. He's purring. Oh, so he's uh, happy. wait, maybe they can hear. I hold you. Anyways, we had a great time. Great time. Hi guys, 
I haven't chatted in a while. Today is Friday, St. Patrick's Day. And I'm gonna make homemade ranch. We went out and had to get a few things like furnace filter, just some necessities. So I wanna make ranch because we're gonna have salad tonight. And I have been vibing making my own dressing these days because one, it tastes better, two, it's more cost effective, and three, all of the grocery store, um, all of the grocery store dressings just have a bunch of shits in them. So we don't want that. So I got this recipe off Pinterest. I'll put the Pinterest recipe link in the description so you guys can make it too. I'm just gonna use a jar, it calls for chives, dried chives. You could do fresh too, because we have chives. And then we have fresh dill, parsley, onion, and garlic. And then it calls for salt and pepper, buttermilk, what else, sour cream, sour cream, and mayonnaise, and then some lemon juice. So, I want to put this in the fridge so that it can cool and get nice and flavorful before dinner tonight. So I'm excited. I hope this turns out well. Okay, it smells really good and looks really good. So later tonight when we make the salad, I'll give the final review. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys, we put up the mushroom frame. I don't think I had shown that. Nice. Yeah. Anyway. They're making a whole gun. Yeah, did, I think that you were telling, me, telling them that. Yeah. Then I got a new planner today that I'm obsessed with. And it's cool because when I'm done with it, I can just take this out and put in a new one. 
Oh, that's perfect. So it's like so I never ride. had to. Yeah, and it's got like cool little compartments and stuff. Cute. Yeah. Think we're gonna play some guitar tonight? I would love to. Me Are too. You, you're down? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work for a little bit longer, yeah. but. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I thought it looked so nice up there. Cutie. All right, this is hilarious. You guys see it. Jube is a freak for the hair dryer. And I was putting wood glue on my new office chair, and so I was blow drying it hot and watch. It's also on cold air. It's not on hot now. All right, ready? Go. Do it. Trying to bite. Look at her face! Aww, cute! <laughs> Guys, taste test of the ranch. We've got our salads going. And here we go. Alright, I'll just hold it. No, put it right here. I got it. I'll oh, situate it for you. Put it like this. Okay. Cool. Alright, one for me, one for you. Salads, <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, it's hot in this kitchen. <laughs> uh, now I just say because I want to do the beat. <laughs> so this, that, that, yeah, it. get with it, fuck it, dog. Yeah. All right. Here I'll drizzle that one for here over this way. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's okay. Cheers. Here. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That's really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Oh, I'm like really proud of you myself. Be. I've been wanting to make at home dressings for the longest time. And I used to be really intimidated by it. I don't even really know why. But. It's really simple. So if you've been thinking about making something homemade, do this it. is your sign. Yeah, this is your sign to do it. And you're a fucking baddie. And you can make your own dressing. You don't even have to go to the store. Yeah. And look at it lasts so long. In seven days probably. But still. And it's good. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Love it. All right, it's Friday night. We're gonna have our salads. And we've been watching Love Island UK. We're almost done. Season 9, the most recent one. So, there's a lot of episodes. There are like 60 episodes. And they're like an hour long. It's like, how are you supposed to watch all of them? I think we're like that? halfway, but... Alright. Thank you guys so much for being here. And watching this week in my life. I hope you had a great week. And... I love you. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next one.